Please stand as you are able. I am resurrection and I am life, says the Lord. Whoever has faith in me shall have life, even though he may. And everyone who has life and has committed himself to me in faith shall not die forever. As for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. After my awaking, he will raise me up, and in my body I shall see God. I myself shall see, and my eyes behold him, who is my friend and not a stranger. For none of us has life in himself, and none becomes his own master when he dies. For if we have life, we are alive in the Lord, and if we die, we die in the Lord. So then whether we live or die, we are the Lord's possession. Happy from now on are those who die in the Lord. So it is, says the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O oh God of grace and glory, we remember before you this day our brother Robert. We thank you for giving him to us, his family and friends, to know and to love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see in death the gate of eternal life so that in quiet confidence we may continue our course on earth until by your call we are reunited with those who have gone before through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish, they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be a disaster. And they're going from us to their dis destruction, but they are at peace. For Though the sight of others, they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Those who trust in him will understand truth and the faithful will abide with him in love because grace and mercy is upon his holy ones and he watches over his elect. The word of the Lord. The appointed psalm for this morning is Psalm 42, verses 1 through 7. The congregation will join me at the half verse. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God a thirst for the living God. Out of the presence of God. My tears have been my food day and night, while all day long they say to me, where now is your God? I pour out my soul when I think on these things, how I went with the multitude and led them into the house of God. With the voice of praise and thanksgiving, among those who keep holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O oh my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will let give him his name, who is the help of my countenance and my God. A 
reading from the book of Revelation. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, see the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them as their God and they will be his peoples and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more for the first things have passed away. And one who was seated on the throne said, see, I am making all things new. Also he said, write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. And then he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of life. The spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things and I will be their God and they will be my children. The word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. At this time, some of the family members have uh, commemorations they would like to share with us today. So I would like to call them forward, Terry. Please be seated. Yeah. You don't have to stand for me. I'm uh, Paris, Robert's brother. Some of you know him as Robbie, Rob, Robbo, Robbie Dobby, and as of late, Robert. 
Grief is the price we pay for love. Queen Elizabeth II. Robbie had such a personality. Anybody that knows him, good-natured, compassionate, caring, give you the shirt off his back. Recently, I had some conversation with a, an old friend, actually an old girlfriend of his, and she said something to me that just struck me, and it's, I'm using it today because it was so poignant. She said, he was always the brightest light in the room, and people were naturally drawn to his energy, his smile, and his dynamic personality. I'm going to get through this. There was always laughter and smiles in his presence. She made him forget about all her worries. And that's the kind of guy Rob was. He was the best parts of Tony and I, his older brothers. And that's, that's what he said, and I agree. There's no secret Rob had struggles. He struggled his whole life with addiction. And he beat it a couple of years ago when he became true to himself, who he really was, only to succumb to another addiction, which ultimately cost him his life. His whole life, he was struggling with these addictions and these demons. He lived life to the fullest. He was an amazing dancer, better than even you, Tony, one of the best. He enjoyed crafts and building things. He even got into painting later in life, thanks to some of his friends, Michael. And according to them, he got pretty good, and I saw some of his paintings, and they're, they're very impressive. No one did a better De Niro or Walken impression. The last uh, text conversation Rob and I had, he said something about the Statue of Liberty po picture I posted, and he goes, that's good. I go, no, you're good. And he goes, no, 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 you, you're good. I'm not even going to attempt to do a Walken impression because I can't do it nearly as good as he did, but some of you have seen it. So... In closing, let's just say, let's honor his life by keeping him in our hearts. I'm going to leave you with another quote. To live in hearts we leave behind is not to die. Thomas Campbell. Thanks. In this morning's gospel from John, we hear some very comforting words, or at least it should be to us who are faithful and who love our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And he starts by telling us that in my mansion there are many rooms. Now that has an extra meaning for us if we really think about the life of Jesus Christ and how he began on this earthly world. There was no room in the inn. He ended up in a manger, didn't he, where he was born. And so he's telling us that that's never going to happen to us in heaven. There's never going to be a place that we can go where there's no room at the end. There's plenty of room for us, all of us, who follow him and go to him. So the heavenly kingdom is full of rooms for those who trust in God, who love Jesus Christ, and who follow him. And he also tells us that most important verse at the very end. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And most of us as Christians live by that and follow him. But I wonder if you ever thought about what it means to be the way. Now, for most of us, when we ask people where to go, they give us directions, right? Go down this street, take a left, go down two blocks, take a right, go around the roundabout, and then go up to, and we're lost by the time we get two things down the street. And, of course, that's only if you're not in the south. If the south, we refuse to use street signs, Right? Yeah, you go down three blocks to the Cochran place and take a right and then take your second left on the, you know, the Smith property and then go down the old Citrus Road, not the new Citrus Road. Can you draw me a map? Thank goodness for GPS, right? How much better is it for us when someone comes and takes us by the hand and leads us instead of just giving us directions? Doesn't tell us where to go but takes our hand and says, let me show you how to get there. That's what Jesus Christ does for us. He takes us by the hand and shows us the way. He is the way if we were only grip him, if we only attach ourselves to him and follow him. He will lead us into the heavenly kingdom. He will show us the way. He will show us the pathways. So we don't get confused, so we don't get lost 
on our way because we know in our current culture it is so easy to get lost. There are so many distractions from our faith and from our spirituality that sometimes they take third and fourth and fifth place. But if we can just follow Jesus Christ, if we can just put our trust in him, he will lead us along the way. And he will lead us into that mansion with many rooms that is our eternal resting place. And that is our hope as Christians, that hope for eternal life, that hope that what happens here on this earth is not the end when we die. It's just the beginning of the next chapter, our chapter into life of Jesus Christ. That is our hope. That is what we cling on to, especially in days like this when we're sorrowful, when we mourn. Just hearing Paris talk about him and the family shared some of those same resurrections, Robbie was bigger than life. He was the life of the party and brought so much joy to so many people and all the things that he did, constantly busy doing one thing or another. He was always in service to his friends, to his family, to those who needed it. That was who Robbie was, and he was raised Catholic. He was a very faithful man, a very spiritual man. So he knows the way. He knows his Lord and Savior. And I'm sure his Lord and Savior has come down and taken his hand. And that gives us great hope. But it doesn't take the hurt away. We still mourn. We still grieve for the loss that we have. We grieve for the fact that we won't see Robbie again in this world. And there's a hole in our heart from that grief. There's a hole in our heart where Robbie is missing. But we can fill that heart with memories of him. We can fill that hole in our heart with good times that we had with him, of times that he was with us, things that we remember about him. And when we can do that, when we can hold him in our heart, then he is still alive here on earth as long as we remember him. And until we come up into the heavenly kingdom to meet him again. And so we pray this day that Robbie finds his way into the heavenly kingdom. That the good Lord accepts him in his loving arms. And that those band of angels are playing as he arrives. And I think Robbie would only have run one request in that whole situation. And that's more cowbell. <laughs> Amen. Please stand as you are able. And you can join along with me in your bulletin. In the assurance of eternal life given at baptism, let us proclaim our faith as we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Arlene. For our brother, Robbie, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, who said, I am the resurrection and I am the life, Lord. 
You consoled Martha and Mary in their distress, draw near to us who mourn for Robbie, and dry the tears of those who weep. Hear us, Lord. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorry, sorrow. Hear us, Lord. You raise the dead to life. Give to our brother Robbie eternal life. Hear, Hear us, us, Lord. You promised paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our brother to the joys of heaven. Hear, Hear us, us, Lord. Our brother Robbie was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give him fellowship with all your saints. Hear us, Lord. He was nourished with your body and blood. Grant him a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. Hear us, Lord. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of our brother Robbie. Let our faith be a consolation, an eternal life our hope. Father of all, we pray to you for Robbie and for all those whom we love but see no longer. Grant to them eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. And may his soul and the souls of all the departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Please greet each other with a sign of peace. Please be seated. First and foremost, I welcome you all to St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, and I thank you for coming here today to help comfort and be with the friends and family of Robbie at this day as we give him a proper send-off. And we just thank you for being here with us. And uh, we have a reception after the service in the parish hall, Freeman Hall, right across the way. And the family invites you to come over and uh, share a memory and have a little bit to eat and just enjoy fellowship with each other as we continue to remember Robbie this day. So... Um, we thank you for being here. We thank you for participating in this and being part of the body as Christ as we send Robbie off to his heavenly home. Our offertory hymn this morning is Love Lifted Me. There's in your insert in your bulletin. And we invite you to sing along with us as we prepare the altar for Eucharist. <laughs>
A quick note on our, commu um, our communion this uh, morning. All baptized members of the body of Christ are welcome to come to the altar and take communion. Uh, you're also welcome to come up and just get a blessing if you're not baptized and want to get a blessing by the priest. If you wish to intinct, which is not drinking out of the cup but having it the wafer dipped in the wine, please just hold your uh, host up and the Eucharistic minister will intinct for you instead of using the common cup. Uh, otherwise, we assume everyone uses the common cup through Eucharist. So uh, we invite you all to come up and share in this Eucharistic and memorial meal for Ravi. And we give this Eucharist in memory of Rabbi Venata, and we pray for him as we do this Eucharist as he is ascended into heaven. You can follow along in your bulletin with this service, and there are responses by the congregation. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who rose victorious from the dead and comforts us with the blessed hope of everlasting life. For to your faithful people, O Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when our mortal body lies in death, there is prepared for us a dwelling place eternal in the heavens. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son and his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, 
being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. And in the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country where, with the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, and with all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. This is the table, not of the church, but of the Lord. It is made ready for those who love him and for those who want to love him more. So come, you who have faith and you who have little, you who have been here often and you who have not been here long, you who have tried to follow and you who have failed, come, because it is the Lord who invites you. It is his will that those who want him should meet him here. At this time, I would like to ask the ushers to direct the family to the altar rail first.
Our post-communion prayer can be found in your bulletin. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you that in your great love you have fed us with the spiritual food and drink of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, and have given us a foretaste of your heavenly banquet. Grant that this sacrament may be to us a comfort in affliction, a pledge of our inheritance in that kingdom where there is no death, neither sorrow nor crying, but the fullness of joy with all the saints. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand as you are able and join along with me as we read the commendation and the people's responses are in italics. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant with the saints. You only are immortal, the creator and maker of mankind. And we are mortal, formed of the earth, and to the earth we shall restart, return. For so did you ordain when you created me, saying, You are dust, and to dust you shall return. All of us go down to the dust, yet even at the grave we make our song, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant, Robbie. Acknowledge we humbly beseech you a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive him into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be with you, Robbie, this day and forevermore. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, gracious God, we thank you for the gift of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us grab his hand so that he may show us the way to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our final song today is... I'll fly away if you'd like to sing that with us.
My brothers and sisters, let us go forth in the name of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.